guys welcome back to my channel so this video here is just my quick everyday look routine it's kind of like a get ready with me so if you guys want to learn how to get this nice glowy everyday look then keep on watching so we're gonna start out by priming not priming moisturizing the face um this is the Estee Lauder Daywear moisturizer I'll be using the pore professional gel primer okay and for today's foundation I have literally been wearing this foundation every single day since I got it I finally got a bottle of the Bobbi Brown um, skin longwear weightless foundation and to me with this foundation it does dry a little bit on the quicker side especially since I use that gel based primer so I'm just going to work it in on one side first. We're going to go in with concealer. <sighs> okay, so I just bought this Tarte Shape Concealer probably like two weeks ago. So I am going to use this today. Um, I am aware of what is going on with Tarte right now with their new Shape Tape Foundation. Oh, it's such a huge disappointment because as soon as I saw that they were coming out with that Tarte Shape Foundation, I was like, yes, your girl is going to get the matte version. I cannot wait. I just love the um, concealer so much. I just know I'm going to love the foundation. And then they dropped the line on Martin Luther King Day with only how many tan dark shades? There were like two tan shades and three dark shades. If that, I could be extremely wrong, but how dare you do that on Martin Luther King Day? And we're in 2018, guys. We shouldn't be having this problem anymore. Like, there's no way that you're, you're telling me that Tarte Shape Tape, not Tarte Shape Tape, but Tarte doesn't have enough money to launch a full line of shades. So now you're going to have to deal with it. Apparently, they're coming out with more shades in the summertime because um, apparently everyone gets tan in the summertime. Which is true, but there are some of us that are this color all year round. <laughs> but I'm not going to get into that because I'm pretty sure you guys have seen lots of YouTubers already talk about that. So I'm not even going to deal with it. But I'm going to continue to use my Tarte Shape Tape um, concealer until I find another concealer that I love just as much. I ColourPop concealer on top because it's a little bit more on the brighter side. I'm going to let it sit just for a little bit. Um, as you all know, when you let your concealer sit, it like soaks in the skin. Everyday makeup look to me is just like not glowy skin but a nice matte base with a nice highlight that's my everyday skin with sometime a, a lip a pop of lip or just a nice shiny gloss okay, and to set my face I'm gonna go in with my Ben Nye banana powder it down your nose to give your nose that natural contour I learned that from makeup Shayla and then of course that's your forehead okay so while we bake I am gonna go ahead and add my contour 
I'm gonna bronze and contour. I'm gonna take her shade Mocha, this one right here. I'm so close to hitting pan. take brownie bite on my same contour brush that I just showed you and then just get a little cheekbone action so I'm going to suck it in like a fish and just put it at the base of my cheekbone I'm just going to blend this out real quick Okay, now and I'm going to set my entire face with my LA Girl Pro Face Powder in the shade Bronze Glow. Same powder I use every single day. And the eyes are extremely simple. I'm going to take the exact same bronzing powder that I went in with on a fluffy brush. And then just put that into the crease. You just blend it out like that. And it just gives it a nice like eye contour. <laughs> you can connect it to your nose. Okay, so now we're going to take the highlight shade in Radiant and we're pretty much just going to plop it right on the lid. Okay, we're going to take Moonlight and then just put a dot, a dab on right in the center. keep that in the center zoomed in I'm gonna go in and add some mascara we're gonna take the Lancome Montessori mascara mascara is so amazing if you do three coats of this your eyelashes will be extremely long I really like this mascara so now we're just gonna set well not we're not gonna set the face but after all of those powders your face does tend to feel a little bit on the heavy cakey side um like tight and whatnot so i'm gonna take my mario Badesco. earlier in my other video i said modesco so Badesco. i don't i don't know how to pronounce this name okay but we're gonna take this this is the um cucumber and green team Green team, Lord, I can't talk. Green tea, um, facial spray. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray my face with that. But that we have that on our face. We're gonna go ahead and highlight. Um, and then of course we're just gonna stay with the It's My Ray Ray palette. Since I've got this palette, it has been my go-to palette. Um, it's just so pretty. Okay, so we're gonna take the Radiant. Okay, now for blush, my go-to Wet n Wild color icon in the shade Mellow Wine. And to finish, I don't know, because normally, everyday basis, I go in with a brown lip liner. It's normally either NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Downtown Beauty, or my go-to that I am currently out, my Jordana lip liner in the shade Coco Loco. Um, if I'm doing it at work, I normally go for the Bobbi Brown lip liner in the shade Chocolate. Um, and then I always, always, always put the Fenty Beauty lip gloss on top. And 
lately, I don't know why, but I've been grabbing a nude lipstick. I've been using the Dose of Colors um, Desi and Katie collab in the shade More Creamer, please. And then on top of that, I'm going to put my Fenty Beauty lip gloss.